All right, good afternoon. So today we're going to work on how to lay out a border accurately, not just showing a sketch border, but how to lay out a straight, clean, drafted border. And that we're going to do using our T-square, which you can grab one from the side of the room, drawing paper, drafting dots or drafting strips, and then you'll need a pencil or a light, light pencil, probably a 4-H or something. That way you stay there. And then we're going to create our border, and that will prepare you to move on to doing the exercises for 76, page 77, and finally page 80. So just to clarify, what we're doing today is we're actually going to place a piece of paper on our board, center it as best as we can, maybe off of the side one edge, going to use a T-square, either in horizontal or vertical orientation, to lay the paper flat. Verify the drawing sheet is on the top is flat. Then we're going to tape one corner, use our T-square and make sure that that other corner is straight, and then tape all four sides down to make sure we get a good clean border. Then we're going to add a little title block on the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my T-square, and I'm going to have my T-square either horizontally flush to the edge of my desk, or I'm going to hold it vertically how I'm going to do because of my camera setup. So first thing you want to do is make sure that T-square is flush to the edge of your desk. Slide it to get your paper comfortable where you want to draw. Place that paper to the edge of your T-square. Make sure it does not move one bit. As you're holding that paper flush, I want you to tape one corner down. And then you're going to take your tape, slide it over, and take this other corner down. Now you can probably be okay for a while just doing a diagonal um, setup. In fact, let's pull this up. So you guys can see what I did again. So sometimes I'll even do this. I'll have one corner, T squares flat. I'll even take and I'll put this corner up against the edge, make sure it's square, and then I have my dot, take down my dot, and make sure and then lay down my paper. So now, if you've made sure, now I'll go with my T-square. And look, I've got a pretty good flush edge, which is a good thing. Because now it'll make all my measuring go a lot faster. Alright, so the first step, once you get a square of paper, since we do a half inch border, is you're going to take and you're going to measure a half inch on all the corners. I'm going to use a red pen because the red pen is going to represent you guys using a 2H pen. So I'm going to mark half inch measure in. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom just in case. Same thing on the edges. Half inch. Then I'm going to measure half inch. And then I'll do the same thing for the bottom down here. Half inch. Now, good thing is take your T-square, line it over those dots, and strike clean vertical line all the way down. We'll do the same thing on this side too. Clean vertical line all the way down. And now when we do the horizontal way, we just get our triangle. This is where you're going to have to hold both the triangle and, so I'm holding these two together. And then I'm going to strike a horizontal line all the way across. I'm going to slide down. Try to keep your T-square in the same spot. Continue that line. And then we do the same thing for the top. Now on the top, I drew the dot on the other side, no problem. 
flip my triangle on my border all right now you should have a clean half inch border all the way around now we're almost done but what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure up a half inch up again on this part we're gonna measure up one more half inch and that's gonna be the bottom of our title block make a dot there and then remember we can also make a dot over here and without using our t-square we can also just use our, tri our uh, scale to actually make that measurement now once you get this line holding it steady and true you're gonna divide this into thirds okay so what that means is our first one we're going to do, we're actually going to divide this into a certain dimension. We're going to divide this according to the book into two and three quarter, three and three quarter, and then five eighths off of the right. So our first line, we're going to measure two and three quarters. And then we take our T-square and draw a vertical line. We're going to measure three and three quarters. And then we're going to make a vertical line. And finally, we're going to measure five eighths. And make our last vert vertical line. Now, these are going to be for page numbers, the title, and your name. Now, Within these, we only want to do one quick thing. We want to take this half inch, and I want you to pick out the one-eighth mark, the one-quarter mark, and the three-eighths mark on both sides. And you're going to take and draw lines all the way across. This is where you're going to put your class name, your title of your drawing, and your name. the drawing number. Drawing number. Okay. Now that we've got that, that's your basic page layout. Now on a lot of these exercises we're going to get to, especially these first couple, you guys are going to need to be able to split your paper, paper appropriately. So in other words, we need to be able to break these into quadrants. So to break these into quadrants, this is our last little tutorial before you go off and you do the exercises as instructed. We're going to split this paper in half. So really the easiest way is just to measure the total distance of a piece of paper, which is 11 inches, right? And take half of that. Half of 11 is five and a half, right? And then let's take half of whatever space is left inside of our border. Well, look at that. It's seven inches. Half of seven inches is three and a half inches. I'm just going to measure that on both sides because sometimes I don't trust my triangle to stay true the whole time. So now we take and we divide our border. Oh, and we use our T square on this one. And now you have a clean, true clear border with your class name area, your title of drawing, your name, and then the drawing number. 
This will give you quadrants to place sketches, or later on you'll see we'll place views in this same manner.